Today, we'll be going over another 114 feature called Schedules. Schedules help you define the times your help desk is being actively monitored. Schedules work hand in hand with SLAs or service level agreements. SLAs determine how long a ticket can remain unanswered in the help desk before becoming overdue. With the addition of schedules, you can make sure SLAs are only being calculated during times your help desk is actually active. Let's take a closer look. You can find schedules by going to the admin panel, manage, and then schedules. There are two different types of schedules you can create. Business hours, which are the times you're working, and holiday hours, which are exceptions to your business hours. By default, your help desk comes equipped with a few schedules as well as a U.S. holiday schedule. Let's look at a schedule where your help desk is active Monday through Friday from 8 o'clock a.m. to 5 o'clock p.m. Each day of the week has an entry with a start time, end time, and day specified since we said this repeats weekly. You may also choose to make an entry in all day event, in which case you don't have to specify the start and end times. There are other options to choose from if you want to be even more specific. You can have an entry happen only a single time, an entry can repeat every day until the day you choose for it to stop repeating, an entry can repeat one time each month until you tell it to stop. You can have it repeat every month on the day you started or you can drill down even further and specify which day of the week in the month you want the entry to repeat on. Or an entry can repeat once a year until you want it to stop. From there, you can choose whether you want it to repeat every year on the start date you chose, or you can have it repeat on a specific day and month each year. Let's say that your help desk also runs on the last Saturday of every month. You could add that like this. Click Add New Entry. We will call this Saturday. And we'll start it this Saturday. I'm going to leave the time as 8 to 5. And I'll say that this repeats monthly. On the last Saturday. Keep in mind that you don't have to put a value for until if you want the entry to continue indefinitely. After you specify your business hours, you can specify which days of the year are holidays. These are holidays that are typically observed in the United States. You have the same options for customizing them as you do for business hours. Let's look at how to add a new holiday entry. Since Halloween is coming up, we'll go ahead and add it to our holidays. We'll make it an all-day entry that repeats yearly on the date entered.
Now let's look at how to add the holiday schedule to our business hours. Click the holiday tab and check the holidays that you want to apply to your business hours. To easily replicate an existing schedule and then modify it some, you can clone a schedule. One thing I'd like to mention is the time zone option. You'll typically want to leave it empty for a floating time zone so that it will relate to the system time zone that you have set. You also have a schedule diagnostic tool. This tool shows you how your schedule will look for the number of hours you specify. Let's see what our schedule looks like for the next 72 working hours. As you can see, it shows that we work for 9 hours Monday through Friday. It also shows that we have a holiday coming up on the second Monday in October. Finally, let's look at how to apply schedules to SLAs as well as how to set up a default schedule. You can set a default schedule in your system settings. If no schedule is chosen, no schedule will apply by default. You can also apply specific schedules to SLAs. This allows you to have different schedules in case you have people working on your help desk in different time zones. That wraps up this tutorial. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more OS Ticket videos. To download OS Ticket, check the links in the description. As always, thanks for watching.